Now that the plumbing elements for all kit types have been installed, we're going to turn our attention to the electrical components of your kit. All kits will contain an arming switch, a micro switch, a relay and or fuse block, and of course their respective solenoids that you've just placed. At this point, for all installations, you should make the safety precaution of disconnecting the negative terminal of the vehicle's battery. This will ensure that no harm will come to yourself or your vehicle wiring during the electrical component installation. The base theory for the electrical operation of all NOS systems is similar. First off, in all electrical diagrams, keep an eye out for the chassis ground symbol. This symbol means a wire will be connected either directly to the negative terminal of the battery or to any metal part of the chassis of the vehicle, which in turn is ultimately grounded to the battery negative. Also, be aware that any wiring diagram that has a dot on top of an intersection of wiring lines means a physical wiring connection is to be made at that point. Now let's take a closer look at the various electrical components and functions that are universal to all kit types. Every kit will contain either an electrical relay or an inline fuse that is tapped into the battery positive terminal. In all kit types, you'll have an arming switch that when flipped will activate the system to a ready state when the ignition key is in the on position. All kits will also have a micro switch that will only close when the physical throttle lever of the engine has reached the wide open throttle position. If your engine does not have a throttle cable, the wide open throttle position can be triggered from a drive-by-wire NOS brand accessory that will act as an electronic switch. With the arming switch activated and the micro switch closed by the throttle, the solenoids of the system will be triggered to open and allow the pressurized nitrous oxide and additional fuel to flow through any nozzles or plate and into the intake of the engine.